It's the Daily Talk Show, episode 337. What's going on, guys? What's happening? Is that what you say every Yeah, I, I think I like it. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Have you, um, you've come up with a catch cry without consulting me. Oh, okay. No, well, it's just it's just what's happened naturally. What's mm. going on, guys? Is uh, Ben Brown, YouTuber, is... Um, what is it? Something like, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Or something. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. Or Peter... But it's sticky, so McKinnon. I get... Yeah, Peter McKinnon's, what's up? What's up, guys? Yeah, yeah. but... It becomes his thing. It's like um, mm-hmm. String Nguyen, who was on the show. She talked about, you know, these sort of things that are sticky. She's got a visual yeah. one, which is um, fried chicken, mm-hmm. which people know know her for fried chicken. Could I – maybe mine could be borrowing from what um, Craig Bruce talked about. Maybe I could say, let's open the shop. Open the shop. Well, I said that to you before. This is one of those days where, where I think it's – this could be a midweek – sort of slump we're a bit tired Mm -hmm. we come off we actually haven't stopped working last week you know we worked all the way through and there was some holidays on the weekend both days and so you do get a bit tired at this point i think yes and so then it's it is about let's open the shop let's just get in here what i do know is that if we sit here with the camera on Mm -hmm. and the lights on we do end up talking about stuff yeah well the other thing too is we're becoming more self-aware mm. based on moving studios so what you pointed out you asked uh whether you had a bigger torso than me <laughs> well i was just noticing i mean you, you're slumpy mcsally yeah and so i tend to my poor organs do you reckon i've got stronger <laughs> organs based on them all just being fucking like smashed or severely <laughs> bruised over a long period of time and, and is they, that a thing do you reckon br- if you don't, don't engage don't your core well, are you like? Have I got a squished intestines? <laughs> they're, they're somewhere and they're being pushed, but I don't know if it's damaging them. But basically, I said to, I said to Josh, we're looking at the looking ourselves in the camera. I said, have I got a longer torso than you? Because we had two people who were like six foot eight on the show, mm-hmm. but one of them looked bigger, so one of them had to have a, a longer torso, torso, which yeah. was Peter Shepherd. Mm-hmm. But I think Lewis Spears is actually taller than Peter Shepherd, but he's got really long legs, super long legs, like. Really long, and so that's where I was like, I look so I looked so much bigger than you in but this. But it moment. turns out that I, I was just not engaging my core. So yeah. I'm going to make an effort to be yeah. more engaged. I will say, doing weights makes you so like the action of what mm-hmm. weight like um, bench pressing, pull ups. I reckon chin-ups. I could do anything in the world, yeah. and you would say the solution is weights. I'm like, I'm feeling a bit, my mind's a bit foggy. You know what? You need to be doing some definitely. resistance Definitely. I reckon training. that would yeah. be a definite so, solution, yeah, yeah. Mr. 97. Yeah. But for, from a, a, a like a stature and posture perspective, mm-hmm. it like everything pulls back. So when you are doing the right form mm-hmm. when you're lifting, sure. you are activating and getting that posture that you want and locking it. Yeah. Um, my my um, sister-in-law... Uh, bought online. I just overheard this conversation that she was having with. Was this when you were napping again in the other nah, room? No, nah, just nah. listening to convo. This was at at her place, and the family was there. Mm. And I just over- overheard this conversation where I was like, "Oh, I bought this thing. I saw it come up on Instagram. It was an ad, and um, it's this brace where you put it on, mm. and it holds your shoulders back." I want one of them. No, I've, you don't. Well, I've <laughs> seen something. It's similar. a fucking band aid. Is it? But does it not get? Isn't it like like I loved when the osteo would tape me up because I felt yeah, but like you're a not footy an player. you're not a sports player. You're not the but thing you is don't these need to play footy to be taped up. Well, because you're you're severely injured, so they're trying to prevent something happening at the moment. Sure. The the problem is there's no actual gain of strength. Just because you're holding your shoulders back just means you're changing the position. It's like taped on muscles. It's t- <laughs> <laughs> which I, just, I can get behind. <laughs> if I had the option of spending thirty Far minutes. Out. Doing resistance training, yeah, or five minutes getting Brie to tape me up each morning. <laughs> you choose the fa- you choose I'd, the I'd pill. You up. choose the the tape. The tape is the yeah. the quick fix. There is the decision though, because mm-hmm. either way, if you don't do any exercise, I'm sure you're probably in pain. Mm-hmm. And when you do exercise, you're in pain in well, some respects. There well, is yeah. some sort of ache or some sort yeah. of just like, oh, I'm working that. But one is something that is <laughs> progress pain. Yeah. Well, I've been walking a bunch more. Oh, this is not about you, dude. I don't, I don't want you to feel okay, like you don't okay. need to justify it. But I have been. <laughs> to be clear, for the people at home, I've been walking more. I've been... Um, you were furiously sweating this morning. We, when I came Yeah, in. your forehead. You look like you were drenched. You are right? Were you, what was what was? I don't happening? know. You just look really sweaty. Maybe it was just why? you. Why? Yeah, that's what I was wanting I was to know. FaceTiming with Peter Shepard. Pete? That 
did you notice the sweat on Josh's forehead? No, I think that <laughs> during com- can we call him? We'll no, just, no, we're not calling. Oh, no, he doesn't answer. The phone. I th- yeah, but he I think it, do it could potentially be just because I feel like I'm getting sick as well. Yeah, and I think part of it is it's because this cold and hot bullshit that we're dealing with, mate. Do we open the shop when you're absolutely rat shit? How do we do that? Yeah, well, I was thinking like, last night. I'm like, I'm getting sick. Yeah, I'm like, I'm definitely going to still do the show tomorrow. Well, yeah, I think um, I haven't had really sick day off in a very long time. I mean, when mm-hmm. you have a business, you can't... R- you want to take days off, but there's still times you have to do some things. Mm-hmm. And so it just it's just a mind shift. Yeah. We asked for emails. Um, oh, yeah, we did. We also... Um, Put up you you put up a post last night of mm-hmm. uh, it's a nice um, graph of our analytics of the show. Well, I like to do it at the end of every month. For one, it helps me to then work out how many posts we've done because I can see where uh, the new month starts mm-hmm. each month. So I really like it because yeah. then I count how many posts we've put up. How many did we do this month? Um, I think it was forty two, okay. which was which was no forty four. I think it's quite good. Um, anyway, I've got I've written it down. That's <laughs> in a spreadsheet did, somewhere. I did, I did count it. <laughs> But I need to say the post that you put up yesterday has um, has actually answered one of our questions um, that we posed a little while back, and it was, "What are we going with, Gronk Squad or Team Gronk?" It was one of the Wait, things. Gronk Squad or Team Gronk? Yes, correct. So that was what we're going for. And so I said, "Hey, hey, Team." Yeah. So I didn't even use. Evening team is what I said. Yeah. So I was, I was being neutral about it. Yeah, but but someone who came up with uh, Team Gronk and you coming up with Gronk Squad, I have to – I mean, it's not defeat. I have to just accept that it, it has been spoken for mm-hmm. myself. It's not – you ha- You know, you put forward a, a name. Gronk Squad. Gronk Squad, and it's been chosen. So Based on? People responding and hashtagging Gronk Squad. Mm-hmm. So I, I just – I can't argue with that. Yeah. You've got and I didn't pay for comments either. That's not me <laughs> because I was um, listening to a podcast uh, with by Kevin Rose. He's got the Kevin Rose Show. That's the guy that you used to be obsessed with through Dig. Yeah. He, he had a show called Dig Nation, which wasn't too dissimilar to this, but they would drink and it was every – it was once a week and they would talk about the top stories mm. on the social news bookmarking site, dig.com. That's D-I-G-G.com. Didn't they come up with – didn't they build that? Yeah, so Kevin, Kevin did. But anyway, it helps, gives them a bit more. He had a guy named Trey Ratcliffe on who um, does like uh, HDR photos. So, you know, like the High photos. Range. Yeah, so it's like um, uh, very sort of saturated is sort of his style. Yeah. Where you can see all like, you know, the colours of archi- – like, like say – landscape or architecture or yeah. whatever but trey's got a book out mm-hmm. can you look up the title 97 trey ratcliffe but he's he's got a book all about um social media and specifically he was building a case for why buying likes buying followers buying comments yeah is um just outright fraud. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. I mean, we've both bought them in our years. 2012, I bought 1,000. 2011, I bought 30,000. But the th- that was on Twitter. Yeah, which we th- both both don't use the accounts that we bought them for. Yeah, and because the thing is that I guess when you're just looking at it from a metrics point of view, I was doing it as an experiment, yeah. but I can't hide behind that because I held on to it for, for longer. Well, we both were doing it for an experiment because I bought it with uh, under... The Everyone thinking is, that it? I was going to at least just show when I did the suck on that Jules Lund mm. America trip, I was just going to show people oh, I got a little bit here, a little yeah. bit there. Which back in the day, numbers people wouldn't didn't really question because they didn't know. They were just like, oh my god, thirty thousand. Yeah, I'm sorry about the Apple Watch, by the way. I've I haven't. I've, it's not. Well, I've been looking like I've got the issue of looking at it yeah. again. <laughs> so I found my Apple Watch. Yeah, but I did zone out because I just looked up. Yeah, not, I wasn't zoning out based on. What was on my watch? I was zoning out based on it vibrated. Mm. I felt compelled that I needed to look at it. <laughs> that's why. But I couldn't do it without being rude. That's why vibration is. It's it's meant to do that. Yeah. It it you are a slave to that watch. Yeah. So it's. <laughs> but it was so yeah. So buying followers. So back then I didn't think it was fraud. I wouldn't have even had that thought in my head. Mm-hmm. I knew it was maybe a bit like, a bit naughty, like a bit. You know, you just. You you are you're lying, but it was mm-hmm. it was so low level then, yeah. right? It's like uh, eh, whatever. To get a little bit salacious, yes. Uh, I know of podcasts, yeah, that are um, in Australia, yeah, 
who are using these things to be able to do stuff where they have a spreadsheet mm -hmm. and they fill out comments that they want uh, put underneath their posts and then bots will come in and comment the custom... Oh, oh I see. So if we released an episode... And we were saying like, hey guys, we're trying to work out between Gronk Squad and Team Gronk. Ah, and we could... I could buy a custom comment <laughs> for 100 people just be like... Hashtag Gronk Squad. Fuck, I wish I knew that. I would, I well, you could done. do it. It could be fun. It could be fun to do as a troll. That's what Trey was talking yeah. about. Do we have the title of his book? Yeah, how to how to fake your way into getting rich on Instagram. Interesting. What's the tagline? I liked the tagline. Under the under the influence. Yeah. The subtitle, like the yeah, you know, when you have books and they have the Does title. The byline or it? Oh yeah, influencer fraud, selfies, anxiety, ego, mass delusional behavior. Mm. Mm, mass delusional behaviour. So we've been since some that could be our podcast yeah. title. <laughs> we've been we've worked with some agencies and they've sent us sort of the brief that they were using with the client and they've had a breakdown of the numbers that they were using mm -hmm. for the influencers that were connected to it. And when I'm looking at that level, it's just like these are just numbers, like they're mm -hmm. just on a piece of paper. So you see how you could and how far you could get if yeah. you are just doing. That have you uh, have you heard about Instagram's trial in Canada this week? No, what is it? Uh, they are trialing. I'm guessing it's with a Mate, small. We've got a correspondent. Actually, no, he's probably left now. 3D deal. 3D he's deal. Canada. Well, it's Wednesday today. It's uh, Thursday. What, no, he will be leaving. It's Two p.m. Very soon. Yeah. Um, Brie was asking, oh, have you heard from 3D Deal? I was like, actually, no. Should we be hearing from, should I reach out? <laughs> I think probably. we should. Well, I'm just yeah. checking the time. What should I be, what should I be saying? Uh, just Tuesday. checking in, seeing how you're going, how everything's coming Can you along. just send him a text now? Yeah. It's mm. it's like late. It's nearly 12 p.m. So I just say, hey, nearly man, how's everything going? Hey, man, you're Excited. set. You ready? Are we picking you up on Friday? No, we're definitely picking him up on Friday. Well, he'd have to be here for us yeah. to pick him up. 3D deal. So just what <laughs> do I say? Uh, just, hey, uh, mate. Hey, mate, how's everything going? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. How's everything going? <laughs> then we sort of, we're keeping it open for him to say uh, whatever he wants. Okay, so but these rat bags are building their podcasts f like... Uh, is it? Are they actually building them? Is well, it that's, that's the them? thing. Like I was, so I was impressed at first because I follow the podcast hashtag on Instagram. Yeah. And after hearing this chat with Kevin and Trey, mm. I all of a sudden got suspicious. Yeah. Uh, of different accounts, and this was one of them where I'm just like, how are these guys got yeah. such? Because it used to be, <laughs> you'd look at the followers, and then you'd look at the engage engagement and you yep. would say those fuckers have no engagement mm. these are all fake however oh i just got to uh, i'll read it off my apple watch Free day deal. fuck he's quick everything's oh. great just packing up the final things and getting ready for tomorrow yes. yeah. yeah that's great and the other thing is uh the roadcaster now that we've got the latest version that's going to be on a separate track Oh, really? The applause. So it just made it a bit harder for Miss Nice. No, no, it's great. So now we can, uh, did I just get another notification? Is it Dill? Uh, Swoot. Oh, mate. Rooster can you take that, please been. take that <laughs> fucking watch off. It Seriously. is slightly annoying. Mate, you should have seen, I, and I, I think I've mentioned on this, we were putting together a shelving unit, i.e. I was doing the grunt work, mm. but my assistant or, you know, the... the <laughs> Go on. <laughs> the a trainee, apprentice, the apprentice, apprentice who was apprentice. helping... The amount of times I looked up to try and get the fucking screw handed to me or the mm. the screwdriver, he's on his he's on his watch. He's not even on his phone. He's looking at his watch. It was nonstop. I think trade is like, I mean, you wouldn't last a day on a trade site, but we we did a few <laughs> hours a, f uh, a couple of months ago. Where did we do that? We we're filming. <laughs> You were behind the camera yeah, filming absolutely. some trainers. And I still felt out of place then. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, ca back to Canada, oh, Instagram. Yeah. yeah, so they're doing... They're that. running a trial, Yeah, uh, removing likes and views mm. on uh, videos and photos on Instagram. So uh, the public, yeah. so your followers can't see. Can you see as a... I believe so, yes. Okay, so yeah, I guess I, I don't mind that. Mm. I mean, it's, it's the... Would it change the way that you post? Um, Would you post less bikini photos now that? <laughs> no, mate, I'd up. Or what about game. no? What no. about body? Uh, but I don't. You post, don't do it I for don't likes. post thinking this is going to well, do well. You you can't say that anyway. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. No, well, I, it's not like it's not a it's not a good trait. If you're a dad, 
And you're like, yeah. 100%, I know yeah, you, that if I post a, a photo monster. of Bodhi, I'll I, get more likes. I came across a, um, a YouTube, they actually had a podcast in the Discover section. Mm-hmm. Weird name, I, couldn't even know, I can't even remember it. But they were parents, I think, of these kids that have a YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. And it was all quite big. They were the sort of driving force behind it. 3D Deals texted again. All right, I'll allow you to inter- interrupt. Uh, just trying to mentally prep for the 16-hour flight. Mm, it's a long How one. can he mentally prep, by the way? What do you think? Meditation. Or just it's a bit late to get on the meditation. <laughs> get on the maybe, booze. Get on the booze. You'll <laughs> see yourself through. I drank a lot of alcohol on the way to America. It's not a good time. idea, I don't think. Five bottles of wine. What could, he, myself. What could he actually do? Go for a run. Go, go to the gym. Do yeah, a bit of gym, weights. Yeah. Do a bit of lifting. Yeah. Just right back. Um, Tommy says you should go bit lift, of bro. Uh, hey, Siri. <laughs> Tell 3D Dill to do some weights, <laughs> says Tommy. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'll send this. Yeah, do it. Send it. Send right. it. Um, so, yeah, I found it. these YouTubers that were... How cool! How fucking cool is that? It's, it is cool, man. But I've been a fan of Siri for... I mean, you're doing it off your watch, but your phone's right in front mm. of you too. So it's not that cool. You it's very dangerous. I don't know what the laws are about car stuff, oh, but I caught wrist. myself fucking looking at my oh, no, wrist. No, that's, get that gone, bro. But anyway, these How parents... How do I watch? So I'm now not allowed to have my Apple Watch. What it's do you just, mean? It is a forever problem, the thing that's on your arm. One, one, first, it's the G-Shock. You look like a four-year-old. <laughs> Should I do what you... A, the with video a novelty-sized watch on. Should I do what you did in that video that you sent me? Which one? The Apple Watch. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> There's a funny... <laughs> I'm going to say there's a funny video of a guy filming an Apple Watch and it just looks like it's on a wrist, it, wrist and then it just sort of the camera pulls out and it's on a penis and it's quite funny. And I sent it to Josh <laughs> and it was not mine because how I don't did know. You, how my did brother you? Sent it? It, my brother sent it to me. He's like, bro, I got a new watch. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's okay to do now? It's at the limits. To it's you? Fine. Yeah, sure. I wouldn't send it to... Actually, I'd send it to Mr. 97. He's, he's <laughs> part of the pack. Um, do, oh, you can't say pack. Pack? Oh, just the pack. The pack. Ah, You've never been in a pack, so you don't know I don't, the feeling. Well, You've you always talking, been on the outers. You were talking about it yesterday. About, about being... A pack the, mentality. No, I was saying boys. I was saying like a, a group of like a group of the boys. And we're not that. We're a pack. bunch of boys that are inviting to all genders, if that's what you're saying. But we probably shouldn't lead with any cock picks. I'm not one who brought group. it up. It was just a. I oh, no, I didn't bring it up. You sent it, but you then brought it up on the show. <laughs> yeah, that no. was a little. That was a cute little. Um, I know, but probably if we had it, like you wouldn't put it on Slack. You sent Why it not? to me personally, <laughs> but it's like you're not going to have like a Slack channel called Filthy Shit. No, <laughs> yeah. no way. But I don't. Yeah. I don't have that with my mates. Like yeah. I know there's some WhatsApp groups and shit that are. Mm-hmm. Flying around, but I, I've never been like that. I thought you just appreciate it. Yeah, it was very funny because you're you a said, cock and you've got a well, you Apple s- Watch. You said I got this Apple Watch, <laughs> which I and knew I was would just get like, you. I knew Why did this fucking get- guy just buy an Apple Watch? <laughs> and then I played it through. through. But I made the I made the mistake um, uh, yesterday. A friend sent a photo of uh, their new baby just being born, all bloodied and stuff like that. Yeah, um, and Breeze showed it to me, and I said, "Oh, it's got a live." Oh no. Live, fo- it's a live photo, which means yeah. that if if uh, Mister Ninety Seven doesn't know what a live photo is because he's never owned an iPhone, <laughs> but a live photo is like an a video yeah. that s- sits within the photo. I'm just trying to find because I did this exact same thing. I took mm. a photo of Bodie and Amy together and I sent it around. This was the day. So you're delirious. You. You've been up for more than 24 mm. hours, and and you're taking a photo because you're so fucking wrapped that you've just had a child. Mm-hmm. And you forget about the live function. And so I sent one out in a group. But in the end of it, you can hear this nurse. And so I sent it to my mum. And at the end of it, you just hear her saying, oh, she's losing a lot of blood. Oh. I want to try and find it. But like it was, it kind of, it's scary. Like imagine receiving that, pressing the live. And y- oh. Your mum knew how to turn it live. I, uh, she doesn't know what a clusterfuck is, but she knows how to use it. <laughs> Mate, she's live. tech savvy. You should see. Um, like anyway, you have to troll back. I know. Is there anything more painful than watching someone try and find? I'm a not photo? asking you to watch me. So do those live videos have uh, live photos have audio? Yes. Oh great. And you can also, if you upload them to Google Photos, it picks them. It up. picks them up as yeah. video and stuff. So you've got all these little videos. Yeah. So I'm I remember, so close, guys. I'm so I, close. I took a photo actually of a guy 
uh, dumping rubbish in my at my old place, took all these photos and it turned into live videos and it had where the guy worked. He was in a company car and so I sent it on Instagram out here to the go. world of him actually throwing things out of the car window. I'll show you later. All right, here we go. So can you, here we go. Hang on. She's still losing quite a bit there. <laughs> She's still losing quite a bit there. It was less hyperbolic. She's still yeah. losing quite a bit there. Well, I mean, that's what I thought it was. There you go. Here's another one. Hang on. <laughs> the funniest one was when we were doing the um, the workout competition mm-hmm. with um, Jules Lund where I came s- severely last. Well, you were so confident, so confident that you were going to win. I was looking, and you were already fucking, working out how to spend... Nick. You were trying to work out how to spend your oh, 500 no bucks. No way. It's 500 bucks. What do you mean? It's, it's, there's not many ways you can spend it. Like I've got life what's, expenses. What's just on shit. It's not like you, I was so going... So you hadn't I, thought about it. Yeah, but I can't, I can't go and drop. An if Apple I get watch. 500 bucks these days, I, I have my wife and my son to think about before I just go... So you'd buy I'll them Apple and buy Watches. <laughs> <laughs> Buying Apple Watches is off the table for me at the moment, guys. But I More sent, of an Android guy. I sent a photo... <laughs> Fitbit. So I sent a photo of my rig <laughs> to Fitbit. Jules Lund because we were all kind of sending them around to each other. Just the boys, just the pack. <laughs> woof, woof. Here's a dick pic. Here's the me. funny thing was I'm in the mirror and, I, and I'm looking great. But when you press, <laughs> when you press the fucking the, the live, you just hear me go. <laughs> <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Anyway, this person on um, this person who started this podcast that has these kids mm-hmm. um, that have a YouTube channel. I went on to see the YouTube channel, and I was just thinking, like, full extortion. Mm-hmm. Not extortion, but full just I don't um, think it's not extortion. extortion. What extortion is the word? Um, is, unless the the kids have. Um, what's, the, what's the word, Mr. 97? Um, wait, extortion. Wait, wait. If you stop doing the wrong word, I'll come up with the right word. <laughs> Exploitation. Exploitation of these kids. Like, just mindless vlogs of them just like, at you know, at sport or doing, this, you know, just nothing. Mm-hmm. But they've got this huge following. And I was thinking about Bodhi. And I think you just, when they start be, to become little humans, like mm-hmm. legit talking. Well, he's at that stage now. Yeah, he knows. He, he, uh, he, we think he said Mason yesterday. Oh, really? Mason 97. He said, <laughs> Daddy on the phone, Mason. And I don't know if he was here because they pick up pick up things just yeah. when – like probably he was here when we were doing the renovation. Yeah. And I was probably yelling, Mason, Mason. Oh, that's right. And, he, and they just pick up and remember stuff. So he's a real little dude now. And so – Do you reckon – I just think twice about exploiting him. Mm. You know, it's, it's – But you, have you thought about oh, I haven't had – and it's unfortunate the algorithm sort of does it. Yeah. But have you ever thought about, oh, I'm going to, do you ever look at your feed? Because before the Daily Talk Show, yeah, you only had you and Amy. You didn't even have friends. I could, you could scroll back <laughs> very far. Is it because like you just don't know which bridge you're going to burn? Is that like what the, do you mean? Well, you just you don't want to commit to any Mate, friends or photos. Ki- burns bridges with friends. <laughs> I'm all good over here. But uh, no, you, it is a good observation though because I don't... <laughs> Really, but yes, it is a good observation. No, but it's a good observation I've in terms that I don't have a great deal of photos of just like I've never been one to just group of mates. Let's quickly take a photo. Mm. Like I, I remember one, but I even thought about it. I was at the footy with my brother and conspiracy Jimmy and my other brother, mm. and we posted a photo. But I, I remember going out of my way to get that, and I don't like the feeling of it. I don't Why? like because you don't know. I have to think too much about doing it. It's not natural for me. Like just taking photos of things or my Amy or me. Like I'm capturing these moments sure. for later, not to sh- – like the photos of me and my mates, I don't know if I'm going back think, looking at that going, great pack shot, just f- four guys in a row, like thumbs up. You know, like it's not my vi- – like I don't ha- see that as some um, beautiful memory that mm. I want to look back on. So but taking a photo of Amy or Bodie – you know, Amy, just somewhere nice or us. What, what I does like that, that say? Like not to go too sort of deep. What does it say? What could it say? I don't know. Just maybe that you're um, a little bit detached from your friendship groups. No, I've I been thinking recently, we've been doing this show mm-hmm. for over a year. You've posted a lot of me. Yeah, Thank I you. know. And I need to sort of get that quota down <laughs> by bringing up. Other more stuff. of my friends. No, but I was thinking... Who else do you see? Fr- this is the thing, dude. We saw Fitzy, but that was just because he's fucking... He was just out, like, finished his job. He's like, hey, yeah, that's... Has time off the during the week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I was thinking about friends and 
putting in an active effort mm-hmm. with friends. Like Mr. 97, you finished school a year and a half ago. Yeah. Um, you said to me that you defriended a whole bunch of people. Yeah, pretty much. Why did you do that? Um, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I felt like I felt like it was easy to. It was an easy way to sort of like declutter and move on. You owed the money for lunch, <laughs> but but I was thinking yeah. about that. So you have how many? What a fucking millennial well, way of looking at friendship. <laughs> <laughs> just, no, just but like, you know, there's, there's a... Does John spark me joy? <laughs> Fuck off, John. I hope you you uh, yeah. kissed him goodbye and yeah, then sort yeah. of threw him in the bin. What no, you you just, well, you're just scrolling through and you're seeing a lot of shit and I, I just wanted to cut it down to the people that mm. I actually wanted to spend time with and who I wanted to actually be around. So mm. what's your cl- what's your group? Like, what's the close close group? How many mates are involved in that? It's Andre and Jay. Yeah. Is two, that it? Two, two? two mates are my closest and then and then they're sort of like extended, which is probably like seven. Ones that including you don't... Including Jason Andre, yeah. You don't contact the others directly. They, they're either a part oh, of... Oh, we, we have a group chat with them. Okay. Are you sending the iWatch? <laughs> See, so, so you, you're calling it an iWatch. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, mate, I'm not the one who's got one on my arm. You're a fucking idiot. Actually, I would, <laughs> no, actually, I, I like if you it. gave it to me, I'd take it. I know you would. <laughs> but so, you, so the... So what I've been thinking is got pre I've got a ten minutes. bunch of I've got so many uh, acquaintances, mm. and I've spent periods of my life hanging quite hanging Being out with them, quite with cl- them. yeah, like yeah. quite close, mm. and then you kind of drift off. You're not not friends. There's mm. no bridge burnt. It's just that we're doing different shit. And then I've come into like for, think about us. You the three of us hang out with each other more than all of our mates, mm. and three D deals just about become our third our, our third best mate. Right. Each, you know. Each. Well, who gets? I've got the, th- you know, Josh <laughs> Mason deal. Yeah. You've got sure. Tommy Mason deal. I get it. So, th- my point is, I've been thinking about actively putting in more effort with friends outside of what this is. Friends outside. So this is, and then in my head, I go. Is this an he- announcement? No, it's just something I've been like thinking it. about. But then I, in the same thought, I think Fuck outside it. of this work mm-hmm. and this, this. You know, friendship that we all have. The time that I do have spare, I want to spend with my son and my wife. And so, as you grow older, you just see how people just become so distant from each other. Mm. If you're not actively putting in the effort to message or even just follow up. Well, I think there's also the thing on aligned routines. So, for instance, the more I try and pack in, say, for instance, if I want to go for a walk in the morning with someone, Mm. that means that I won't. Like Brie goes to the gym at six, she'll mm. get back at seven. So if I so if I go for a walk, if I leave at seven or whatever, I don't see Brie until the evening. Mm. And so it's all those things too, right? Which is like it starts to. There be, do you feel the pressure to align routine? So it's like we finish work at the same time. We're oh, going ha- to work. Yeah, definitely. I guess you got one car and like you drive and stuff. Yeah, and then important. the kid we have to get him. The, the one car adds to that. Mm. But I think, yeah, so you want to build out a nice routine that actually makes you feel good or that you like and can work for you. This is why having a job that you absolutely hate is, is yeah, so annoying. really annoying because it's the majority of your time and, the, and you're hanging out with the people. Mm. <laughs> They're the people that you hang out with most in your life, yeah. pretty much. Uh, how do you feel about a book club? Um, if, for one, you need to read more. You've Beg your pardon? When was the last time you read? <laughs> last night. What did you read? Um, sh- uh, Austin Cleon. I'm just finishing that. Okay, okay. Um, I want you... I, I've got no real interest in a book club, personally. Is that fine? I mean, that's fine. Why? Well, it's going to be very hard for me to do a book club within the business if <laughs> sort of oh, one book, third... Us, us three book club? Yeah. Oh, okay. Doing a book club between us all, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I thought you were talking about the Daily Talk Show book club. Oh, we could, we could open it up too. I was... Okay. Well, yeah, if we, I like that actually. I like that idea. <laughs> no, the but thing is, it'd be I like wrote, me saying... I actually just wrote down book club and I hadn't really... But th- that is yeah. perfect. Could I, I, I be like Oprah? I think it's such a big commitment. Like I know... I think it's such a personal... Open uh, the shop. Personal challenge to stay consistent in anything, right? Mm-hmm. And for me, I've got my things that I'm consistent at the moment. Like doing, Medi- a, doing a podcast? Podcast, which so is could a collective thing. Meditation, which, which is a personal listening. thing. listening. So it's like, it's exactly the same. All I'm saying is now, hey, listen to the podcast yeah, but then and now read this every but week. But then it requires <laughs> us as individuals to, to learn how in to our, read. In our yeah, personal <laughs> time, go to Kumon and understand how to read. 
<laughs> I had to go to reading classes as a kid. Yeah, it well, was I did pa- too. It was a painful area. For I me. tried to. Um, <laughs> I watched a YouTube video on reading faster. It was actually. Um, it's in Ferris. Uh, no Max. No Max Joseph, no. who's part of Catfish. Oh yeah, yeah. He, great, um, great film. Yeah, he's he's done a film on reading and all that sort of thing. And they ha- he had a, a reading champion. Yeah. Speed reader. And so I decided to try and do that <laughs> the night that it happened. And I'll tell you what happened. So Bree is just enjoying her book nice and sort of uh, quietly. Yes. And I'm just doing this. Oh, you're moving your finger just, across yeah. the page. It's yeah. very aggressive moving the finger. And Bree's like, are you, are you, are you right? enjoying that? <laughs> is that like an I enjoyable think it's the experience? Same. I think the, the people who wear those back braces off Instagram are the same who <laughs> want it faster, want it now, want it done, want it all, want it all over. They'll take a pill. I think it's of that same area. Like I got into it. Tim Ferriss must have been spruiking it because yeah, I was yeah, on was. sites. I was yeah. on loading in text to see it go across and they had this like middle section where you just keep your yeah. eyes on the middle section. Yeah, you're yeah. meant and to the read word, your peripheral vision. Yeah, so you keep your eye running down one line of the page yeah. vertically yeah. and you kind of look to it. I mean, if it becomes natural... But that's ma- the idea. It, it's unnatural to start with but then yeah. it becomes... I guess we've got audio books which you... Can do, oh, but at isn't that the speed. ultimate pill? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You're saying, no, but I'm, I'm not like, saying ah, oh, dude, I'm not the one reading. who does it. Speed reading. I'm not speed the one reading. who's trying speed reading. No, but <laughs> I'm saying that you're saying that speed reading is like taking a pill, and yeah. your suggestion <laughs> is put audio books at two times the speed. Yeah. That's not even reading. No, but that's <laughs> what I'm saying. It's not for me, but I'm saying for the guy that wants to. I'm do saying, the speed I, hey, I want to do a quick workout every. Every morning? Yeah. And you're saying, hey, I could just take this pill and not have to do the no, workout. but I'm not you're telling people to do that. I'm pill taker <laughs> than I am. I'm not the one trying to do this Mr. shit. Mr. Seven, don't you nah, think that... He's, <laughs> he's lost you, mate. I think we've both <laughs> lost you. Yeah. <laughs> you're trying to say that I came up with this fucking whole thing. No, but you just said, I just don't want to spend every episode bickering. No, but I, I, I didn't start that. I was just... You were saying that me speed reading is like taking a pill and your suggestion was listen to an audio book at two times. Because you're annoying your wife. That's mm. what you do. But the thing so is, but I'm then I still have to play, to I still have to... Um, so anyway, back to your book club. Mm-hmm. My, the only problem is then you have to, we all have to be reading. Otherwise the book club falls on 3D deal said, oh, ooh, O-O-O-H, good call. He, he knows what's up. He's my lifting guy. Anyway, so the let's fuck off the book club for <laughs> no, now. No, no, no. I want like I don't want you to get no, a bit just upset with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's annoying because I got a lot of books. <laughs> I think if you read and you had your own book club and you could tell us a bit about a book, you could do something <laughs> Not much like of a that. club, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happens in a book club anyway? I mean, this is isn't that I think you read in a circle and share. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> is this a seance? What is this? You actually, is that how you do it? You no, read. we're doing it you digitally. Peter you, Shepard and I have been speaking about a walking book yeah. club for a while. And so what does that mean? What, like you're walking, I know, is the action, but where's the book? You're not the... Do- well, I, it's, it's more the idea with Pete and I was it's just that we would read a book and then we would walk and we would talk about the book. So you've got to read it in your own time. Correct. So you both have to be up to the same section. So you like a hey, two, three chapters. Uh, to be honest, I've never been in a book club. Didn't you say you had a book club or you're wanting to start it? I want to start a book club, but I wanted to, I entered into a book club, the previous employer, and I've, sp- I've told you this story, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they asked if I wouldn't go. Because <laughs> it was all women. Well, yes, they were doing Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg. Yeah, yeah. And I said, um, they said, hey, on Slack or whatever, sign up for the book club. The first book is Sheryl Sandberg, uh, Lean In. And yeah. so I put my name down. And my, the organiser came up to me and said, hey, Josh, it's only because we're close that I'm going to ask you this, but can yeah. you not come to the book club? <laughs> rejection. You've had rejection. Mm. I see why it's a touchy subject. No wonder subject. I can't fucking read. It's Far actually out. combining two things I struggle with. Is there... so Reading yeah. and friendship. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Maybe I just... Solo reading to start with. I think... You know, like I see these people on... Facebook or you know YouTube talking about how mm-hmm. they've read so many books. The fact is, that I hope they've done the reading of the book and they haven't actually listened what to an mean? audio book. But it's th- where they they then talk about it, so they do their own thing, right? So you become the guy Josh that has actually read a hundred books in this year. Well, that's the whole thing that Max Joseph is talking about What's in this saying? short film. What's well, just like all you need to do 
to go from someone who reads one book a year mm. to reading like 10 books a year is spending 30 minutes a day reading. Mm. Mm-hmm. Scooter Derek's calling me, mm-hmm. so we got to go. We've got we got a, a couple of emails. Thanks to Jake who lives on Smith Street. Oh yeah, shout out to who you. Uh, he's going uh, through our back catalogue. I apologise for anything <laughs> yeah, that I we've know. said that doesn't sort of represent us as people in 2019. Which fast forward to episode thousand, we'll be saying the same thing yeah. about three thirty seven. Well, we'll be talking about the yeah. Hopefully, you've read hundred books by then. Episode thousand, hundred books, one book every hundred episodes. Mm-hmm. No, that's 10. <laughs> right, let's finish this up. Also, uh, Wayne, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Wayne, who lives, oh, sorry, works close by in Abbotsford, yeah. he was saying that 3D Jewel, you don't have anything to worry about. Uh, I was thinking about it last night. Yeah, you went a lot you of junky were pretty hard about it. And so it sounds like it's an unsafe place to work. It's fine. It's the beauty of it that it's, it, that it's not actually that unsafe. Like, it's not unsafe. Yeah. I've felt more unsafe overseas in parts of New York than than this there's yeah, much like more unsafe York. areas in melbourne than here there is so i think we should sell melbourne as an entire city though to him <laughs> anyway <laughs> the the point is that uh wayne was saying he has seen yeah people shooting up and dealing drugs within 30 meters of the cops and this is a bit of a blind eye going mm, on mm, and do prime, you think we could do it schools and stuff could we do like an expose or no do, can you not be it, no, th- i i searched last night like if you just l- type in um, Abbotsford heroin and it comes up with like articles, mm-hmm. plenty of articles written. But could we do a solid video? <laughs> yeah, about wh- how they should clean up, yeah. like clean it up. Surely at least the back of our It's building. so much more complex though, you know, like it's it's not, it seems so simple. Surely the, the thing if that Wayne was talking about was the used needles. Surely yeah. we can just, okay, so if we started off, it's like you can keep, Doing the drugs yeah. that you just need to be clean well, about. Well, that's why they've done the safe injecting room. Mm. Because but it, clearly, they're ha- not all using it. Yeah, I know. Which it seems weird. It's like, but it's probably sort thing. of. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I thought you were saying it was weird to not go, but it's weird, it weird to, to go. go. Like I could imagine, it's sort of like if you wanted to do drugs. Yeah, it would seem like an uncool place to do drugs. Like, mm. it, well, it's very medical at that point. Mm. I don't think anyone's doing it's speed. Not, yeah. But then, yeah, I guess a severe addict is actually just needing it to survive. As a medical thing, yeah, which is yeah. good. Okay. It's, it's hard, it's complex, but mm. I think we could do something that just shows. We've got to use a long lens because the dealers are very onto, you, onto it. No one wants to be seen to be doing it, you know? So we've got to get across the road. Let's get that, you know? I don't know if I can be fucked. Uh, anyway, it's a daily Same talk with the show. book club. <laughs> Hi at the Daily Talk Show is our email. If you're listening on Apple slash iTunes yep. podcast, please leave us a rating or a review. Mm. And the thing is that I'll just say it now. Yeah. I have put through an order. Oh, yeah. There is something that's going on, something to do with the hats. The hats are coming, okay? Nick, all of you guys, you're getting your fucking hats, all right? Getting your hats. I sound like Ash Williams there. You're getting your fucking money. She's getting her money. Yeah. It, yeah. I've never killed anyone. I've always said that. <laughs> um, but we have something big coming in regards to merchandise. And what we decided is rather than giving, giving them away willy-nilly, one of the things will be that you've left a review on the Apple podcast slash iTunes app. And if you do it now, yeah. it will be in your favour for the future. So Which it's we almost have to have like a little trust system. So if you actually go and do it tonight when you're listening, you send us an email. They don't even have to send us an email because it's going to stay there. Yeah, but what so I'm we'll saying is, if you want if you want the piece of merch, you need to email us to get something. From yeah, but us. that's when we get the when we get the thing. I wouldn't even say it's merch. When we get the thing that we're giving away, we will then use the mm. iTunes slash Apple Podcast system and say, "Have you left a review?" And that will be one of. The things. Oh, yeah. However, the doors, like an Ash Williams stunt, would already have been closed. So you need to leave the review now. Yeah. Does that make sense, 97? Yep. All right. I'm glad. <laughs> he looked apprehensive. It's a daily talk show, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. See you guys. Goodbye.